Um, so in this question, we are given an ideal gas uh, inside a cylinder, which is closed by a piston, which is also free to slide. Um, and then we transfer this much heat to the gas. And we also adjust the weight on the piston such that uh, on a PV diagram, the state of the gas changes from point A to point B in this uh, semicircular fashion. So this curve is a semicircle. Uh, so the pressure and the volume of the gas as a result of this uh, manipulations changes from A to B uh, in this fashion. So the question is, uh, what is the change in the internal energy uh, of that ideal gas? Uh, well, we can write the equation uh, of the first law of thermodynamics, which looks like this. So you will say that this change in internal energy is equal to amount of energy uh, which was transferred plus the work. The work in general is equal to the negative of the integral from V initial to V final of pressure dV. Uh, but geometrically this integral is actually the area area under the curve. So in this case it is this area. So the question is then uh, how do we calculate that area? Well we can divide it into two parts and we can first calculate say this side, the rectangular part. So the rectangular part is equal to so you have this minus sign. The rectangular part is uh, 300, 300 times this uh, change in volume, which is from 6 to minus, so from 6 to 1 over 2, so 6 minus 1.2. So that is the, that accounts for the area of the rectangular part. And if you note here, uh, the volume is given in liters when you convert it into meter cube you get uh, 10 to minus 10 to power 3 uh, sorry 10 to minus 3 and then here you for the pressure you have 10 to power 3 so these two uh, tens will cancel right so here it's 10 to power 3 and here it's 10 to minus 3 when you convert it into SI units but these two will cancel so this would be the area if you calculate that uh, this part gives you uh, 1440 joules. Okay, so this is how much is the rectangle. Now the question is how do we calculate the area of that uh, circular part? Let's call it A0. So let's call this circular part A0. So plus A0. Now uh, here uh, finding just the a radius of that circle on one scale uh, and then calculating for the area will not work because these have different uh, units and uh, it's not a simple geometrical circle but uh, we can make a proportion uh, related to, to the areas uh, what we can do is this uh, we can think of this circle as having some radius r, but let's not give it uh, a number or anything. So we, we know that the, the circular part is, has the area of pi r squared over 2 for a given value of r of that uh, circle. And so we want to find what is that area corresponds to in joules. <clears throat> Uh, well, you can then make another another proportion, and if you look at at this thing, then this would correspond to two r. So then you can say that uh, the area which corresponds to to a rectangle 
which is within this red, red, red area is equal to 2R times R, right? So this is 2R and this is R. This area corresponds to a certain energy, right? So we can calculate that energy. So that energy corresponds to uh, this, 6 minus 1.2 times 500 minus 300. So now we've made a proportion. We've looked at two different areas. We've looked at the area of the semicircle, which is this, and the area of that red rectangle, which is this, 2R times R. But we know that this area, geometrical, corresponds to this area in energy. So 6 minus 1 over 2, that's this side, multiplied by 500 minus 300, that's the vertical side. And so you just now calculate for this unknown area by making a proportion. If you do that, if you do that, for this uh, you get uh, 754 joules. Okay? So then the fi finally you can say that the work done is equal to uh, negative of this plus this. And this gives you uh, 200, 194 joules. So in total, then you can say that the change, change in the internal energy is Q plus W. Q is given, so that's 5,790 joules minus this thing, 2194 and you get 3.6 kilojoules. So this is the change in the internal energy.